morning everyone. Scott and I would like to talk to you more about leaves today. Do you remember yesterday when we spoke about leaves, we spoke about the parts of a leaf? Do you remember what the, this part is that makes the leaves food? Yes, it's the blade. And do you remember what these are called? Yes, they're called veins. And what about this bit? that helps the leaf turn towards the light. Do you remember that? It was a petiole. That's right, your memory is quite good. We're gonna look at other things about leaves today, but we're gonna focus on the veins. Do you remember the veins that run through the leaf? Come have a closer look. Remember the veins? Well, you won't believe I went walking through my garden today and I found a leaf that looked like this. It also has veins. Can you see these veins run from bottom to top? Right next to each other, like parallel lines. I discovered that these types of veins were called parallel veins. They run from bottom to top alongside each other, parallel. The other type of veins that we were looking at yesterday are called reticulate. Can you see they come here from the midrib all going off in every direction. It looks a little bit like a net. The word reticulate comes from the Latin word reti. And reti means net. Can you believe that? Reticulate. Parallel. I'm going to write labels for those. Let's start with parallel. This one is parallel. Parallel. Let's write reticulate. These veins are reticulate and these veins are parallel. Why don't you go into your garden and see if you can find any parallel veined plants and any reticulately veined plants. You can collect all the leaves and do a leaf pressing or a leaf rubbing and if you need your parents to help you write down the names, reticulate and parallel, I'm sure they will. Good luck and have a fun next treasure hunt.